Hey everybody, Bill Stainton here with Producing Results. So today I want to talk about creativity and teams, specifically your teams. So if you've heard me talk about creativity before, you know that my definition of creativity is really nothing more than connecting dots. Finding two or three or more dots that haven't been connected before and then finding that connection between them. Creativity is almost never this, this spark from above that people seem to think it is. More often than not, it's like looking at something that already exists and something else that already exists and seeing a connection that nobody else has seen before. So that's why it's important to have a lot of dots available to you. This is why I say that as a creative leader, you should be reading all across the border. I mean, reading all different kinds of topics. You should be talking with people, not just people in your own industry, but people in other industries, people of all different persuasions. So you need that so that you have this collection of dots, so you can see connections that nobody else is going to see, especially nobody, especially that the, the competition won't see. So now I want you to take this principle and apply it to your teams. Now, if you're a solopreneur, this might be your virtual team or a team of advisors that you get together with everybody every now and then, maybe a mastermind group. But if you're with an actual team, uh, you actually go to work and you're actually with a team, and you're the leader, think about the makeup of this team. Think about this. You want to have a collection of dots. So you want to have members of your team that represent different dots. You want to have a diverse team. You want to have people of different ethnic, religious, age, um, uh, uh, gender, all different persuasions. Because you want to be able to have people who look at things a little bit differently. Look, if your entire team looks at every single situation, every single problem the exact same way you do, then you're pretty superfluous, aren't you? Some of you just really aren't necessary. You want to build a team of people who will each look at the problem a little bit differently because they've got different backgrounds, because they have different filters that they see things through. And that's what you want as a leader. That's what you want if you really want to have your team come up with creative solutions to interesting problems, the kind of solutions that the competition isn't going to see. So build a diverse team. Collect a lot of different dots. You're going to get better results, you're going to get more creative suggestions, and you're going to be light years ahead of the competition. So now go out there and produce great results today.